Hey guys, sorry I look a little tired because basically as soon as I got off the plane from Brazil, um, I went straight to work. So I've just been going nonstop, still doing readings, um, regular office job, and it's just been a lot. And then I finally went and got my stuff out of storage and started cleaning my reaches and everything. And yeah, buying some stuff. Stuff is expensive here. Um, Cola nuts are still expensive, but it's obviously much cheaper in Brazil. Um, speaking of Brazil, people in Brazil are very opinionated and sometimes are very stubborn in certain ways they want to do things. Um, and it made me think, because uh, I had one person who was like, why do you have your SU in your house? And then and most people believe both in um, several traditions that yes, you should be outside, but what people he didn't understand was that this is the SU that's on my head. It's the Risha on my head. It's not just some SU someone gave me. And when you think about it, um, all the money you spend, all the initiation time you do, and then why would you? put that Arisha that's tied to your head and put it outside where anybody could come fuck with it. And most people don't realize that, you know, in Africa, yes, you see stuff out in the open. Yes, you see issues from people. You see leg buzz and issues and ogoons and goo and various shrines outside like they're supposed to be. Some are for shrines for their compound. Some are shrines um, for the community. But that's different than none of those shrines are connected to a person's head. Those are inside the house. So if you do have an Arisha or Vodun that's like a warrior, like that's like most people, or even on Condor people have Osirin, but like Osain, um, Ochosi, uh, Ogun, Eshu, Babaluaye, um, Orisha Oko. These are all Orishas that like to be outside, touching the earth. Um, you want, usually want to put those within your own compound if you have space outside behind a gated area, not or even if you're in an apartment complex, please don't put that outside your apartment. Or if you have like a, you can put it outside by putting it on like a balcony or something like that. But, and then also people need to understand that Eshuo daughter from, that's born in Oshia, Odu Oshia Tora for doing ebos is not the same thing as the SU on the SU for Alarisha of SU on their head. And if they're in Ifa and in uh have SU, they're two different SUs. Like I have an SU Odara, I have an SU LJ, SU Awude, SU Akesan, which is one on my head. Those are totally different. I don't feed ebos for clients on the one the issue for my head i do it on issue of data because that's for ebos like they're th logical things for reason and it seems like some people don't really have logic or common sense or they lose it once they have a godparent and it made me just wonder just like some of the we have same have some of the same issues as Christians and Muslims and Hindus, everyone in in Condomble and other ATRs because we get so enthralled in the religion and what we're taught that we forget to think for ourselves and we forget to ask questions because people don't like questions to be answered and people don't like to have discussions and everyone wants to be right and sometimes there is no right it's what works for you even sometimes. Um, deviations from the tradition is what works for you and your family and it won't work for the whole community and that's fine it's not that you're wrong especially when I look at the community like the people who always claim to be right are always having 
problems or like the people that you know everyone thinks is right are like the first ones to just die like it's just I'm noticing that a lot more it's just the people that everyone thinks is like the wonderful expert or they think that they know everything are the ones who either their godparent didn't live long or they didn't live long so compared to someone who claims that they don't know what they're talking about versus the other person who like most of their lineage is having problems who's doing better who's being true to their spirituality not as much as the religion um it's the person that's having doing what they're supposed to do and they may have ups and downs but they're still going forward and they're still um having a life that's not full of horrible surprises um and it's just especially in 2018 2019 it's just I've just seen a lot of people pass away in their 30s and 40s and I've also seen a lot of elders pass away equally in their 50s 60s 70s um, especially in Brazil and it's just making me think about you know not just life is short but people need to stop acting like they know everything and that they're it and they're Risha, they got a Risha and, and it's the in all be all of things because it's not. Even I had an issue in possession talk to me about the own, the medium, the spirit was talking about the medium's father who had Shango as well. And he literally got diagnosed with cancer and then he was given three months to live. Like it's like he got diagnosed just three months later he died. It was that quick. And he was this well-known priest of Shango, and there was nothing he could do um, in terms of within his tradition, in terms of Ebos, and he did everything he could do. He still died. So maybe he could have found something outside of another his own tradition. Maybe if he was open-minded, who knows? We, people who are in different traditions all know that certain things can be delayed um, if you just know what to do. And like everyone, yes, has their time, but um, part of the reason we're in this tradition is that we know that we can delay it or bargain it away sometimes. And most people who are stuck in their own microcosm of the religion and they don't believe anything else exists outside their religion other ones usually go away very quickly and not in a happy way because it's almost worse for you because you are a spiritual person um you have done all this study you have done all this training and yet you're still just as stubborn and stupid as someone who doesn't know and when you're at that level you don't have an excuse to be stupid you don't have the excuse to be ignorant you're willingly ignorant and that's therefore from a spiritual perspective you don't get that excuse you don't get that um 